Hello. Um, so I just uploaded a vlog from yesterday's hike. It was a short one, three minutes, you know, nothing much. But I'm gonna do a simple uh, get ready with me video. I showered yesterday and I didn't get to do my hair. So I'm looking like a scraggly old lady. I'm breaking out in small acne, not big acne like I used to get. Freaking, I hate acne, but it's just like small right here and small or big, I hate it. I'd rather have small acne, but it doesn't matter. I hate it, and especially right here in the middle of my forehead. This has been there for like a couple weeks. It hasn't gone away. And the only thing that helps my acne is tea tree oil. I've just been lazy and haven't put it on. It would help clear up my skin if I did. But I'm just gonna, my hair is crazy right now. I'm not really gonna like do do it, but gonna try to fix it somehow. All right, so oil, it's like faded black with hints of red in it. And I kind of want to dye it again just cause the color sucks. It looks all raggedy. Um, I like my natural hair color, I love it of course, but sometimes I don't like it. Like, I don't like these layers in my hair. I did that of course. I got my Marilyn Manson shirt. I love this shirt from the Tourniquet music video. That is my favorite song of Marilyn Manson. One of my favorite songs. Marilyn Manson's music, him himself, his music, his art is really misunderstood because he makes creepy stuff. My hairline for my bangs just does not look even anymore. Um, anyways, he's, he's, he does like creepy stuff. Like this shirt, by the look of it, it looks creepy, right? Not to me. It doesn't look creepy to me. Like he's just literally on a staged set that they created with some little midget guy. He's cute, the little midget guy's cute. Some weird thing on his head. He got some stuff on the walls. You know, he's just wearing like an old looking shirt. I don't really know how that's creepy to people, but I guess it is. People don't appreciate real art. You know, the music that people listen to these days just suck ass like there's no soul there's no meaning there's no heart to any of the music that people be listening to nowadays and i hate that because i love 80s music and 70s music mainly 80s 90s rap is the best rap marilyn manson is one of my biggest inspirations i'm not an artist or anything like that I do have my hobbies, which are reptile keeping, just the knowledge of nature, true history, like science and hiking and my photography. Those are my hobbies pretty much, but like I do enjoy painting sometimes and drawing sometimes, although I'm not, I don't consider myself an artist and I'm not very excuse me very good at it painting is easier than drawing i remember the first time i painted um back when i was in like middle school and the beginning of high school i was really frustrated because i was like how i i drew it and then i was like how do i paint it how do i get it from a drawing to a painting and I just didn't understand art the same when I was younger and it was frustrating to me um, because I wasn't good at it. I wasn't good at it like other people at school or other people around me that I was jealous because they could draw good or paint good or whatever. And only more recently within the past couple years, I've learned to understand art in a better sense. Um, well, I think one of them is because I'm a photographer, so I am constantly taking pictures of nature and birds and animals and not so much of people, 
although if I have the opportunity, I will. Yeah, it's giving me like a better vision of how this hair is acting weird, it's acting up. How an art piece should look and how to use your mind to create that art piece. I'm into painting more of nature stuff and I am a nature photographer so that pretty much makes sense for me. And then when it comes to music, I'm not a singer. I cannot sing for the life of me. Some people it just comes natural to them. Not for me. Instruments. I've never really been too good at instruments, except for the violin when I was younger. I wasn't too bad at that. I was in fourth grade, but you know, that was a long time ago. And haven't played since, although I would like to try. <laughs> guitar. I tried to play guitar for years. I wasn't really connected with it. The most difficult part for me was moving my fingers back and forth between notes like fast enough i just wasn't good at that and also stretching the fingers to the other notes that are like far away i can't do that i just can't i tried piano before i tried guitar um i didn't really try it i would just mess around on it never really learned anything because i don't know anything about piano i had an electric piano so it was fun you know the only art that i excel at is photography because it's really easy for me to walk outside and just look around me and when i look around at anything at all times i always feel like i'm looking through my camera lens and i look and i'm like oh that would be a perfect shot with my camera you know it's just that eye of visualizing things that would be good in a photo for me photography isn't just about the picture or the aesthetic of the picture but it's also about the colors in the picture the shadows and the lighting in the picture and it's also about the moment the picture was taken um like you're capturing something that can last forever that happened in a split second like a bird landing in a tree or a unique sunset or a unique full moon or something like it's a moment that's captured in time and it's captured in a moment in your life that was a moment a moment that Obviously the moment doesn't last, but the picture does. And it's not just about what's in the picture, but what's behind the picture. How you're feeling when you take that picture, what you're thinking when you take that picture, where you're at in your life when you took that picture. It's just all really fascinating to me and it's something um, that is very spiritual and that I hold close to my heart. Um, it's just something that when I do, I'm in my own world and I feel happy. I feel like any problems that have ever happened in my life or that are happening in my life just don't exist just for a moment when I'm looking through that lens and I'm capturing pictures. For a couple years, you know, I didn't really know my camera that well, but over time, each year I learned something new about my camera and I'm still learning new stuff about my camera all the time. I'm still, it's been like six years since I got my camera and I'm still learning new stuff about it. I'm still learning new ways of capturing different lightings and different settings and close-ups and all that type of stuff. I love that because it's something that means something and nowadays not a lot means something at all. Yeah, that's just my ramble about art, photography, and Marilyn Manson. <laughs> I love Marilyn Manson. I don't understand why people find him creepy. I get his concerts have been intense. Um, I think he set the stage on fire. He stabbed a pig head on stage. He's broken things um he's done crazy crap 
on stage and I've always wanted to meet Marilyn Manson and to see one of his concerts live because he's getting old he's not gonna be around for so much longer and I'm young still and I wanted to experience that but I don't know if it'll ever happen it's always been a dream of mine although I don't I want to go to a crazy concert like i'm not a crazy concert kind of gal i don't want to be in a mosh pit i don't want to be in some crazy crowd like i just want to go see my favorite artist perform live that's all i want he's not creepy like i've never seen one interview of him being creepy he's always been very smart in his interviews um he's a very intelligent person and he's very educated and that's what i appreciate about him is that a lot of people don't take the time to educate themselves on anything nowadays people will just talk about something as if they know what they're talking about but they really don't like when people say that marilyn manson is weird or creepy or whatever negative things that they have to say about him or his music that it's satanic this and that like people who talk about satanism that it's evil and the devil and this music is satanism and this and this and that is satanism clearly aren't educated on what satanism really is and what the difference between real evil work and satanism because satanism is literally just atheists mocking the idea of the devil because the devil only exists with god and it's an ideology that was created by man and that's something that is being mocked by atheists and that's really what satanism is but if you want to get into satanism being like all these weird ritualistic things i don't know anything about that um I do identify as an atheist person because, you know, I'm a scientific person, but I'm also spiritual, so I don't know. Labels are just labels. I'm just me. But the people doing weird rituals and all that stuff, people have to put a label on everything. Um, I don't think it has to have a label. I think the label could be evil when people are doing evil rituals because there are rituals that are not bad. There are rituals that are not harmful to other people and animals or themselves. Like, people are just ignorant and they don't understand anything and they think that they do. I just don't understand how anybody could ever speak on anything that they truly don't know about. Just like, for example, when uh, a celebrity when a celebrity goes through a public breakup and people are talking about this celebrity did this to the other person and whatever blah 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 like i never really believe it because for one we don't know these celebrities personally we're not in their lives and we weren't there when whatever went down went down so how can we assume what this person is thinking and feeling and uh about their actions of why they did this and that like we don't know we're not them we weren't there if we are there and we witness it firsthand with our own eyes and ears and we're able to ba make our own opinion that's something that you can make your own opinion on if you see it firsthand but you can't necessarily make an opinion on anything if you weren't there and you don't know about it so that's why like sometimes i do like watching the drama videos like the sloan videos or the tea spill of like certain youtubers um or sometimes certain celebrities, but most of the time I don't. And that's just because like, I wanna hear the cheese and I wanna hear what people are making assumptions about or like what the cheese is about. But I don't really base like a real opinion on anything because I can't, if that makes sense to anybody because it seems like nowadays nothing 
makes sense. All right, well, that was my short video of just straightening my hair a little bit while I talk about some random topics, but I'm not really gonna do makeup or anything right now. Um, kind of want to dye my hair, so I might do that. Um, I also gotta clean, and I gotta clean cat poop, and I gotta feed the cats, and feed the dogs, take the dogs outside. I got stuff to do. So, I don't know when this video will go up, or if it will, but if it does, thank you for watching, and my name's Hunter, I'm not a boy, a girl, because <laughs> Hunter is commonly a boy name, but it's also a girl name too, so yeah, and um, have a good day, and I don't know, that's it, bye. <laughs>